Samoa's natural waters are special. Something goes in there, comes out different. We often wonder why. But after generations and generations, I'm telling you, it has always been that way. Of course, things don't always turn out the way you expect. <laughs> Bo's complaining, right? Because these waters are not just special. They make everything better. As for me, this is my natural. Ah! Natural Sambo water. The taste of nature in a bottle. Taya oi ona tausa Elisa tupe mo maliu fa ipoiponga a onga le fa nau ta avale ho o se fa le fou Isa tahu o wa lona kamba wa bili ma gei le wa bawa ko pe ko pe ma ngoele ka pongia ko pe ro pe ma wa ngei a feel my name loyal federal pacific finance no so so mana onga tau tupe bafi oi le 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 a sa ka ko le fa ngoru enga federal pacific finance serving sa mo's financial needs I launched recruitment, we're based in New Zealand and we're 100% owned and operated by a Samoan family. We're here to recruit people, give the opportunity to people for full-time work in New Zealand as a skilled worker, um, so trades, carpenter, mechanic, or anyone who's successful with the quota to be able to come over to New Zealand. A summary of our partnership for food system transformation, I wish to present five key messages on partnership and one message on relationship. First, we are all the same. No matter where we are in the Pacific, no matter how big or small, we all have common challenges. And no one, no island, no Pacific island is isolated anymore. We are all in one global big family now. Despite our country specific needs, we have shared values. We need policy coherence with this space and work together in our resources mobilization. Second, we need to share as I emphasized in our first day. We have within us the answers of solutions. We have very rich in knowledge, expertise amongst with SITS, but we are not providing an able environment and platform to share resources and share knowledge. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, organizations and policies that have uh, been laid down by Pacific countries all these years, the Pita, Crimean, and many others. But it's a matter of no actions. So as things get worse to our environment nowadays, we need to revisit again and make sure we activate it and find actions to these solutions. We need policies that we can share resources, data, and technical expertise. Data is available, but need to able to access data or share it. A new word that I was heard yesterday from our CEO of technology, blockchain. E-wallet, blockchain. It's another new technology of offering of how to trade in the world. No more middlemen. It cannot acceptable in the banking system because it could be dangerous for other money laundering. We consider we find a way to sort it out. Third, 
as what uh, our family from uh, Rarotonga has emphasized this morning. We are strong together. We need to stand together as one Pacific. We are small on our own, but together we are one big blue Pacific family. But I want to amend it in my small advice. We need fast. We need fast together and fast to move forward because we need action now. Fast for speed, fast for development, fast for action, and fast for praying. If you go fast, if you, go, if you wanna go fast, you go alone. If you wanna go further, we have to stand in the Pacific. But I want to emphasize, we wanna go fast together. <laughs> There's, there's no much time to waste. We never know what's happened tomorrow. Many new things we've seen around us. So seats must approach problem together in all any ways available. Fourth, partnership is exceptional. Going alone is not an option. We must work smarter. We must include civil society and private sector in our work. I said earlier, there's no room for argument. We need everybody together. We community, we cooperate, and we move forward. And that's the way to success. We need partners. We need our strong partners around us. And you know, each and every one of us has got partners. For us here, our diplomatic relationship is so blessed for us. We have China, we have Japan, we have America, we have New Zealand, we have Australia. We have so many of all these people that's been helping, developing some more to where we are now, and we are so blessed and thanking them for all this help. Most of all, for the organization, we just thank the United Nations, that has been there right from the start. When we decided to be the first South Pacific Island to become independent. That's 60 years ago. And I tell you, we just look back and see the expertise by our forefathers and the right choice they make for us. It was a hard beginning but we're now we're enjoying the fruit of the right choice for us. So never doubt. So I thank you, Anne, and also FAO for the support. And thank you to all our donors and partners and countries that has been serving us. Yeah, sometimes we have some other, a little bit of conflicts, but conflicts can then be solved, can be solved. Partners such as China and other believe in the South Pacific Corporation in providing extensive support in the Pacific and extend to expand supportive in the future. Support in sports, economically development, culturally, religiously. We all have that because of these uh, loving countries along us. Fifth, partnership is a long time relationship. It is not alone. It is not one-time transaction. Partnership is the private sector and must be long-term and sustainable. It is a private sector cannot support itself. If the private sector cannot support itself, it will be a collapse. That's why our new government initiative is to guide the way. Government to government level, government to government approach, government to government negotiation so that it clears out all the obstacles and red tapes make the way easier for our exporters to bring prosperity to the nation. The partnership must be tailored for the needs of our people in the Pacific. But I wish to bring in one point for relationship, relationship among ourselves. We are intermarriage between ourselves, the Pacific Island people. 
Nauru married to Niuen, and Marshall Island married to Kiribati, Fiji married to Tonga, Solomon to Tokelau, and all others. And that makes us even more stronger. And that's how we see the future of looking after each other, because we are one. I was in New Zealand uh, three years ago, get my youngest son to school. It was a new school. And then uh, the teacher asked about five boys, oh, where are you? And our first kid came on. Oh, my mother is a new one and the father is a Nauru. So I'm half new and half Nauru. So to the others, oh, my father is a Marshall Island and my mother is a Kidipat. So half Kidipat, half Marshall Island. My father is Solomon and uh, father is mother is a uh, Tongan. And so he does. So he asked my son, so who are you? My, my father is Simon and mother is Simon, so I food blood Simon. <laughs> and there was one little cheeky kid, he, the teacher asked him, where are you from? And he said, oh, my father is Simon, but my mother is a Cook Island. So I'm half Cook, Simon. <laughs> I'm half cook and half salmon, so I'm a half cook salmon. <laughs> Family, that's how we are. That's who we are. No matter we like it or not, we are one big family now. So no more pointing hands. I appreciate uh, what we have seen from here for your support for our tours salmon. Thank you so much. That's why we are Make the Pacific as one. So I want to take that back with you. If it's relevant and useful, use it. If it doesn't, bring it back to me. Thank you, Mrs. Chair. Thank you, Honorable Minister Lalin, our host, um, for reminding us uh, that uh, we do share common challenges in the Pacific, uh, but we are also united. Um, Sharing solutions in the, within the Pacific is important, but we also need uh, to further enable um, this sharing. Um, resources are, are required. Um, there's a need to seek new technologies. Um, going it alone is not an option. Together we are stronger. Together we go further. Together we go faster, hopefully. Uh, partnerships uh, need to be long-term. Uh, they should be facilitated and, and, and tailored. And I think lastly, reminding us all that we're one big happy family and like all families, we may have our differences, but we all come together in the end for the, for the best of the, of the family. So I think it, this is a very good message, which threaten food security and put progress in the region on issues such as health and nutrition that had been made at risk. We have, of course, seen in our discussions that solutions can be found and to help the region get back on track to meet the Sustainable Development Goals. Country delegations have detailed the many ways in which governments in the region are encouraging the production of nutritious local foods, trying to reduce the reliance on food imports, and implementing social protection measures. The ongoing development of the National Food Systems Transformation Pathway is, of course, a key step in increasing Pacific Island countries' reliance in such crisis, resilience, excuse me, in, to such crisis. We heard country delegations share um, their thoughts on how to further advance with this process, um, supporting data collection, knowledge and information sharing, um, tailored partnerships, and of course, access to financing, which will be critical in achieving the much needed transformation of the agri-food systems. The first overview of nutrition in the region showed challenges in data generation, collection, and analysis, which will need to be addressed, but demonstrates the willingness of this group to take up the difficult tasks. The session on financing for development provided a useful update on the issue of continued <laughs> access by Pacific SIDS to official development assistance and other crucial resources. The importance of carefully analyzing trade-offs and Specific examples were discussed. This was emphasized so that transformative actions are implemented after a due diligence. Above all, we've seen inspiring examples of how innovation can provide concrete solutions to challenges, 
whether it be expanded in nutrition education, expansion of nutrition education, providing better uh, market access for women and other vulnerable groups, reducing post-harvest loss, or helping firms add more value and improve their pos position in the agriculture value chain. We've also, we've also learned of interesting examples on how innovative solutions anchored in nutrition and health can help address the prevalence of non-communicable diseases, a key concern of Pacific Island countries. One of the key messages of this forum, which, one which many of you have stressed, is the importance of leveraging digital and traditional solutions to help achieve agri-food systems transformation. The region has a long tradition of agriculture, going back hundreds of years on conservation and sustainable agriculture and its indigenous food systems, the knowledge which should be harnessed. Innovation is, of course, a key priority for FAO and is being further strengthened with the recent adoption of the first ever FAO science and innovation strategy. This complements our other strategies, notably the updated strategy on climate change, among others. We've also had the opportunity to discuss and agree on a new country partnership program, framework, which will anchor our cooperation in the region till the year 2027, a critical period in our joint efforts to meet the sustainable development goals. On behalf of Director General Chu Dongyu, I wish to assure you that FAO stands ready to leverage all the financial and technical resources at its disposal to build on the success of this forum and to ensure that we are able to address together the many challenges we face in transforming agri-food systems in the region in coming years. We would really like to achieve with you together better production, better nutrition, better environment, and a better life, leaving no one behind. Thank you very much. Le <laughs> <laughs> Se Ladies and gentlemen, um, we will now uh, have the closing and wrap up uh, section. And uh, so I will um, 
welcome the Honorable Lauli, uh, the Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries Samoa, uh, to come to the podium. Honorable Minister. Natua Faboponia so while it was a full out. Therefore, you are to pouty or toutyanga, a while it at to falling a full in us. On a tulela, let two of our poivanga, it at to mouth tanga. No fiona, the assistant director general, or the FAO, and my sale, pay a maulungo minister, the carpeneta, by a to no more pass fica. Wom pa anga ole la lolangi utato ma futele ne yaso na ofiongo Simona ole malaulia wa le tato Yuan I may say Mrs Xiao tato FAO Talo for once again my fellow family civic family I believe we are now come to the end of our Pacific Seed Solution Forum. And we forever thank our Heavenly Father for the wisdom shared, guidance, and protections upon us all. So please give a round of applause for our Heavenly Father. <laughs> Your Excellency, Mr. John King Kim, FAO Assistant Director General and Regional Representative, uh, Ms. Simona, UN. Representative, Excellency Ministerial Colleagues, FAO Representative Ian Samoa, Mrs. Xiao, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. This really has been an incredible three days. On behalf of the people of Samoa, our government, I would like to thank to each and everyone who have joined in us in person and virtually. In sharing their wealth of experience, homegrown solutions, and innovation to transform our food system in an order to maintain food, nutrition, and income security. This forum and forum has provided us with excellent opportunity to extend with each other we have learned a lot and know each other a lot other than during these past few days. And I pray that I will, we will be continue to interact and deepen our agrofood system dialogue. Agrofood system is awakened in our Pacific Island countries to the fact that we must work together to transform the way we produce consumer and really think about food, since food system can be unite us as a community and people, and it can be bringing us together around finding workable solution. Excellencies, distinguished candidates, ladies and gentlemen, we, the Pacific community, are unique in our own way of life, the Pacific way. And the way we have sensed closeness and unity, families among ourselves. These have made us stand out from the rest of the world. The Western world has already been developed, and the eyes of the world are looking at our little tiny islands. And we also have a lot of resources to share that hasn't been exposed. So in order for us, for all our effort to transform in our agro-food system, we should stand together to support each other with the assistance and support from our development partners. As one of the saying goes, we uh, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. We have the advantage of training between other countries not only goods, but the service as well. Let us recall on how agrofood system process, progress, and develop the expand during the pandemic. Even for the pandemic was taking previous lives and physical puts for our people apart, the process has actually brought people back and bring us back together. 
This is because food is central and it should be everyone's business. No food, no life, no happy. Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of us all, I would like to sincerely thank you, the United Nations for FAO, for the great initiative and for all the tremendous assistance to provide to the Pacific Island countries in transforming our food system. And I would also like to thank you to all the development partners and the continued support throughout these years through the development of our Pacific seats. Last but not the least, I would like to thank you to all the people that contribute to this event. Our IT team, our photographers, sound engineers, and everybody involved. Thank you, boys. And especially my friend Joseph, Sungafata, and Titi Ruasaidi. What about a hand for our colleagues here? For our Pacific family, we did not come to the finale of our gathering. We're doing it in our dinner. But for now, it is always a pleasure for Samoa to have you all and visit our, and enjoy our beautiful Samoa. So you go for now, for the Lord peace be with you. And six o'clock, we will start our dinner until the morning. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. <clears throat> I will now call on Mr. John Jean Kim, the FAO Assistant Director General and Regional Representative for Asia and the Pacific to deliver the closing remarks. It is always difficult to speak after Honorable Minister Laudi, but I try. So, Honorable Ministers, Excellencies, Development Partners, Ladies and Gentlemen, FU is pleased to have the opportunity to co-organize this year's Pacific Seeds Solution Forum here in this very beautiful island of Samoa. And I'm delighted to have a chance to attend the forum in person here. It is fortunate that we have been able to come together physically here in Samoa for the first time since the start of the pandemic to discuss our response to the twin crisis or triple crisis, the COVID pandemic, 5F crisis, and if you add one more, perhaps climate change, and use them as an opportunity for long-term change to achieve food security and nutrition in the Pacific. And I also appreciate the participants, particularly the ministers, who take time in this very busy period, end of the year, to come to join this very important event. Also, I want to thank those who have joined online, remotely. As the Honorable Prime Minister of Samoa, Her Excellency Fiamma Naomi Matafa noted at the opening session, there is urgency for small island states to move forward with the transformative food system approach, including government support towards building sustainable, resilient, and inclusive agri-food system that fit their respective context. The forum has therefore been a valuable opportunity 
for us at FAO to listen to the priorities expressed by our members and to discover new ways of addressing the challenges that confront the region. We have heard many inspiring stories of how innovation can provide solutions to difficult problems and help transform people's lives for the better and build resilient and sustainable agri-food system. Our key common challenge is therefore to successfully achieve the transformation of agri-food system to ensure that they deliver food security and nutrition, better environment and a better life for the people of the Pacific. Successful transformation will be the key to achieving the FAO's four battles as well. As we have seen, the agri-food system transformation process is a complex and multidimensional undertaking, which will require both a determined effort by governments as well as significant resources in the coming years. I would like to express my great appreciation to the honorable ministers, the country delegations, development partners, and all the participants for the many valuable contributions to our discussions during these three days. Let me also extend my thanks to our uh, uh, donors and uh, partners for their participation. Your support will be crucial in helping Pacific Island countries realize their aspirations and achieve the objectives that have been expressed in the many interesting interventions we have heard over the three days. Finally, let me express my sincere thanks on behalf of FAO to the government and the people of Samoa for the exceptionally uh, warm hospitality you have accorded to the delegation during the past three days. Your previous precious help and the support in making this forum such a great success. In particular, I would like to extend my special thanks to Honorable Minister Lao Li, uh, Minister for Agriculture and Fisheries of Samoa. Also, I want to thank uh, our colleagues in the sub region office, uh, the staff from Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries, or te technical team in the hotel for facilitating uh, this event to proceed very successfully. Thank you very much. Uh, now, uh, the officially, this uh, Pacific Seas Solution Forum uh, is uh, over, and uh, we will uh, prepare for uh, the very pleasant time for dinner, hosted by Honorable Minister uh, Lauri, uh, Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries. Thank you very much.
fa mana tu ina risfulo no asole tete ya tu isa wanga wa o ia ile no folelei ai mesi la vai tu tonu ainga o le tsau sanga le nei wa fuo fuo ina ile sini au tu e fa pea fo fola le fala se yo tato ta la ta le fa fa ile le mo le malo tina ma ta mai tai danga ta e ya ya afia nga tu mau o le soi fuo ai mesi o ta ma ma fa nau o le nei fa mo e mo e ama tai ne la so los fulo valo no ve malo a felo a lua e tu a ma o ta o le fale o le malo e ma tangi ala lua ile fitu ile tayao ai ta puni alo ia ile aso se fulo te se malo a felo a lua ile ofisa o le ta nga lua o tina ma ta mai ta i sa le lo longa ile fitu ile tayao lo wa no sa mo ta to te tu tu fa ta si ai e fa mu ta sa wanga o fa i mo fa fita o le onga onga ile malo a inga no u ma le atu no u ta to la e fa ta si le la no le uli e fa i lo ai lo ta to te te a tu i sa wanga a wone e mi si alo wa no e te mo le ma wi na ile sa o ta u o le puni ala va I lo tato fa mo e mo e o le nei tau sanga. O le nei polo kalame o lo fa tau tai e le ma lo sa moa. Ma na pa anga. 